You're back. Welcome into the lab. This is my space. I am Phil. And the good thing about everything that we'll try here today is that hopefully you'll learn something about it. You might be able, able to try some of the bits that we do here today because really what we're trying to do here is give you bits that you can learn about, try about, and then see what happens in the real world and where you might see some of this science, technology, engineering, and maths or STEM. I know that the main reason that you've come back is due to my magnetic personality. <laughs> and actually, we're going to be talking about some magnets today. Magnets have a north pole and a south pole and they have a, a magnetic field that goes around them. And normally when you put north to north, they get pushed away. If you put south to south, they repel. So like poles uh, repel, but if you put an opposite together, they attract. Oh, and they stick together, so you have them sticking together. But like I said, they have that field that goes around them. And this field is really, really useful because you can use it to kind of help move things. And that's actually what I'm going to show you right now. It's something that you can make yourself at home if you've got some magnets and some copper wire and a battery. So like a normal battery here that we have here, uh, I'm going to take some copper wire, which is a, a, a metal that's really good at conducting or sending, transmitting electricity along it. And I have some magnets. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the magnets and the battery together. And what we're going to show you today is by actually taking a wire, and I have a copper wire here, you'll be able to find sometimes, you know, thicker wires work better than others. But if you bend it into a shape that I'm going to be able to connect the top, which is the negative, to the bottom, which is connected with the, the positive with the magnets, we should be able to create a little magnetic field, and that push should push this around. Aha! So you look, see this? So you've got the circuit is going round, so the electricity is going through, the magnetism is pushing it, you're getting a push in that direction, which is causing this to move. This is called a homopolar motor. <gasps> I have a better one, I have the bigger one. I made it, I tried, we tried to make this bigger one earlier on. Same kind of idea, so you've got just a little more magnets on it because it makes it taller. And then we have a, oh, I love science heart. Here we go, we put this on, I'm gonna put this around, down, there we go, look at how pretty is this? Using science, electric current, and magnetic field, going around, and loveliness. So you're seeing how motors work. They use magnets, they use a sense of power going through. And what I thought I might do is actually show you a little bit about actually how you can get motors then to be used in different. So this is a little motor, um, and we've put a little bit of glue on the, on the end of it so it, it shakes a little bit. But if we had this, it would normally spin. And you'll see that if I hold one of the magnets up to it, you'll see that it's, so there's a magnet inside motor. So even in your car or even in your phone, when it goes vibrate, you get that bzzz, bzzz. That's my phone impression. Bzzz noise, you get that shake. There are magnets inside, and this kind of causes it. And it's not spinning straight on, it's offset a little bit so it shakes. So what I thought we might do is if I took two of my toothbrushes, I have another one, don't worry, and I cut off the top and I put them on here so it's bristles, so they're gonna act like legs. I'm gonna take some blue tack, and I'm gonna stick that on with there, with the blue tack so it'll stay on. And I put a little bit of glue on the top so instead of just spinning straight and just being a circle, it's gonna kind of shake as it does it. Uh, and then I've got a battery with some wires, so I'm also gonna stick them onto the other side. So we've got our battery and our motor, and inside the motor is where we have the magnets. So I'm gonna connect the positive wire onto the terminal here of the motor. And then I'm gonna connect. So we're going to, when I connect this up, it's gonna be completing the circuit. So the same way that we had the homopolar motor, the electrical circuit is gonna be able to fly around. And there we go, you see it's already moving around. Okay, so I'm gonna put it in, it's shaking, it's shaking, it's shaking. And I'm gonna connect it up and let it on the same. Hey, look, look how cute this is. Oh, look at you. Take a look out in the real world. See some of the science that you can do with a homopolar motor or something else like this. Where else in real life is this happening around you? Observe, take note. You can explore more on rte.e forward slash learn and send us in your efforts, your tries, and try and make your own little mini robot. Even put a picture of yourself on top of the robot as it rides around on your table. Be quite cool. See you soon.